Hi there, Joey from dayjobhacks.com. Today I'm going to do another deep dive into a very popular traffic source called Zero Park. You might have heard of it before. They specialize in push ads, pop ads, and domain redirect traffic. Today I'm gonna to show you how I set up a CPA affiliate marketing campaign using a very popular offer and how I found that offer, how I set up the campaign, and how I found profitable targets on Zero Park to run this offer on. If you're interested in affiliate marketing or just advertising online in general, then this video should be very helpful for you. Hopefully you'll learn something. Let's get into my computer and I'll show you step-by-step step the, the process that I took to find these profitable targets. Okay, here we are on Zero Park and this will be the traffic we dive into today. And what we're gonna focus on today is push notifications. And as you can see here, uh, with their push notifications, they do have a, a decent volume of 775 million monthly available clicks. And you can see they also have pop traffic, which is much bigger in volume, 96 billion monthly available redirects, as well as domain traffic that you can also test. Um, we are going to be, again, focusing on push today, but I would also be testing pop, maybe with some dating ads or casino or other popular verticals that you can find on my blog at dayjobhacks.com. What are we gonna do today? We're going to first do a little bit of a recon. We're gonna do some uh, research and see what people are actually running on this traffic source. So what I've done is I've already done that research and I've already chosen the offer, so I'm not gonna waste your time, but I will tell you the tool I used, and that was Anstrex. You can see here, if you go to dayjobhacks.com slash Anstrex, this is a native ads and push ads spy tool. You can use it to see basically what other people are running on all of these popular networks. And you can see here, Zero Park is included. You can actually precisely see what people are running. And I'm gonna save you the time today. I'm gonna to show you one of the most popular offers that affiliates are running on Zero Park. And I'm gonna show you how to find the profitable targets and what you need to consider because this isn't as easy as you might think. You're probably going to lose a little bit of money at first trying to find those targets, but once you find them, then you can start focusing your traffic and your targeting on those specific targets. Now that we have that out of the way, we found the offer. What is the offer? The offer today we're going to be running is called uh, McAfee and it is an antivirus pay per sale offer. So you get paid every time somebody buys McAfee, which is a popular computer software that protects your computer from viruses and all that stuff. So we're going to be using this type of offer. You can see it's available on Max Bounty. I'm actually using a different uh, network and I'm going to tell you why because the payout on Max Bounty is $40. And then the payout I'm getting from Perform CB is $52. And I think if you just do the math, obviously it's uh, the reason why I've chosen. But if you're looking for offers and you're looking for networks that have this offer, simply go to Offer Vault, search for it. You can see there's a ton of networks here that have McAfee. Now, another one I would also test is Norton, which is another very popular antivirus can uh, offer and you can see there's many different countries so i'm going to be doing us for this example but obviously you should be testing many different countries the ones who make the most money are the ones who are doing these other countries and doing some translation on their landing pages i'm going to show you my landing pages i'm going to show you my ads and i'm going to actually show you the profitable targets in this video but first please like this video comment share it don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that bell icon so you get notified of all of my other future videos. So now we know the offer. We know my payout is $52. You can probably find $52 somewhere along here or, or more um, depending on what network you use and whether you go direct or through a network. Now let's consider the landing pages. What are we gonna be doing for our push ads in order to make this profitable? First step is to set up your affiliate tracking software. In this case, I'll be using Volume simply because it integrates with Zero Park. So all of the data that it gets from Zero Park is pretty much 100% accurate because they are integrated together so you can see all of the data inside volume and it helps you to optimize your campaign further inside volume the first thing you would do is you would come into the uh, autom automizer setup here and you would set up your traffic source here which would be the zero park integration just go through their steps i'm not going to do that in this video however you can watch this video to give you further details on why this is actually a very cool tool to use for your campaigns now once you've set up the integration with 
zero park, you're going to want to set up the offer inside of volume and then we're going to set up landing pages. Now in this quick test, I did four landing pages. I'm going to show you the one that worked best, which is this one, the McAfee English 3. You can see you got the most conversions with the roughly $360 in revenue. And I'm going to show you this page and how easy of a landing page it is to set up. You can see here there's nothing fancy about this. It's basically a one pager above the fold. You're going to consider that this is going to be ran on desktop. So you're going to want to have it so that you can see everything above the fold here. Now, how did I know that desktop was the best way to run this? Well, I had to do testing and I had to spend money to find out whether or not desktop was better than mobile. So I've saved you probably half of your testing budget by saying you should probably start with desktop when you're trying to run this type of offer. So try desktop types of push notifications and you'll see here everything is basically very easy and quick and fast because that is the trick here is you want to make sure that they get here and it loads super quickly and they get their discount on McAfee. Now, how do you advertise to people to get them to this page? That's where the push notification comes in. That's where we go to Zero Park and we set up the ads. Let me show you those ads now. Okay, so back inside Zero Park, you can see here when you click on new campaign, this is where you're going to set up all of your targeting and all of your ads for your push campaign. You can see here I've selected push ads I'm just inside editing this campaign, so I can't change anything right now. But you can see I've selected McAfee US as the target. Again, I would recommend if you're going to be testing this stuff, try the other geos as well, like the other countries you can see available through Offer Vault. All of the networks have different countries, and that's where you're going to find more opportunity because I'm going into one of the most competitive countries here uh, in terms of cost per click when it comes to this type of traffic. You can see here the ads are very straight up. I've tested five creatives. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you the best one here. Let's just have a look through my volume stats on what the best ad was. And according to volume, the best ad was creative number three right here. McAfee. Yeah, look, I even spelled it wrong. Whoops. <laughs> McAfee protection issues. See security report seven. Okay, now the, the key here is not to be too aggressive in your ads. You don't want to break terms by saying somebody has a virus on their computer. But if you go into Anstrex and you look at some of the ads, you're going to see that many people are being very aggressive. I tried to go as least aggressive as possible without lying to people, but I'm just saying basically McAfee protection issues is the headline and C security report. And it's kind of tricky where it is clickbaity, but at the same time it is converting and even though I spelled McAfee wrong with this mistake, so I should probably fix that with a, a new ad. Pause these other ones and start split testing against Creative 3 and seeing uh, the results after that. Inside here, I've set up uh, the, the usual stuff for a campaign. I'm not going to go into too much detail because if you're watching this video, you probably understand a lot of this stuff already. Destination URL is the URL that I got from Volume. That is my campaign URL that links to the landing page that then tracks the click-throughs on my landing page and all of the conversions. Conversion payout here is $52. That's what I'm getting for this payout. You, you should probably at least be getting $50 if you want to test this offer uh, in the United States. Now, other countries, that could be much different. It might be a lot less. That's why I would suggest trying other countries when you're coming in and testing this traffic source. Uh, the country here, again, I selected United States. I went all languages. Um, I went non-adult and I went with desktop, okay? So depending on what type of offer you're running, maybe if you're running the mobile version of these antivirus campaigns, then obviously you're going to select mobile here. You're not gonna select both of them in the same campaign. Always keep that in mind. You wanna separate your campaigns here when you're using a traffic source like Zero Park. Uh, operating systems, I went with the latest operating systems and only the best browsers here, Chrome and Edge. So I actually had to do a lot of testing to find this out. Again, found out that Windows 10 latest is the best way to go for this one and these two browsers, okay? Uh, I used both Push uh, Classic and InPage for this campaign and only running it after I've done some testing between 8 a.m. and 11 p.m. Uh, or 8 a.m. and midnight. Again, this requires a lot of testing to find out that, you know, in the early morning hours, people just aren't installing this software. I guess they don't care about the computer security until they get to work maybe, or they start working or whatever it is. But 
after looking at some of the data, you can see here now this option here is great inside of Zero Park where I can actually select a time zone or a time of day that I want my ads to run. Did not go run of network on this test. I did, I did test many different placements, but uh, by the end of it, I was able to find that the best option is source publisher level. So you're gonna target specific publishers. If you are coming in brand new to Zero Park, make sure you speak to one of their ad account managers. Um, and, and ask them specifically whether you're running whatever type of offer you're running make sure you ask them What are the best sources for this type of offer? Where should I target my my traffic so that I have a better chance of having success right away? And they are there to help you trust me that uh, I've had some great success with these guys um, Who are very responsive and they will tell you, you know This is probably where you should focus and that kind of stuff So make sure you talk to them and use that that resource that is available to you now I did do the bid at 10 cents sense here however you'll see that I've had to adjust my bids accordingly and you can do that at the target level which is another great feature here uh, that again requires a lot of testing but eventually you will find those winning targets and then you can go in specifically and I'll show you that in a second but I'm just gonna go through some more things on this campaign the daily budget here is two hundred dollars and I was buying traffic smoothly. Now you can buy all available traffic and your budget will be spent a lot quicker throughout the day, but I just decided to spend it out smoothly. And that was it. That's it for the campaign setup. So you've seen it all there. Now let's show you those targets and, and how you can do the automated, or yeah, you can actually automate your bids, but you can also adjust your bids right at the target level. Okay, so here we are, and you can see in the reports on Zero Park, I can now go into all of the sources. I can see the targets, the creatives, the regions, and the cities. Another thing you can do here are optimization rules. And you can see here, I do have a rule set up here. It's a little aggressive in terms of uh, optimizing. I should probably change it a little bit, but it says if a target has more than $15 of spend, and there's no conversion, so conversions is lower than one, within the last three days, then pause the target. So this is a lot easier than trying to do it all manually because a lot of my other videos that I've done, these types of case studies, we had to do manual optimization. So we'd have to go into our volume reports. We'd have to find those targets then we'd have to come back into Zero Park or whatever traffic source it was at the time and pause them manually. Here we can do it automatically using these optimization rules. So it helps a lot uh, to optimize a lot quicker when you do that. Now, I would probably change this to 35 because I'm actually um, getting paid $52. So I do want a little profit, but I don't want to lose a bunch of money on sources that just aren't going to convert. So you can see here now, we do have some profitable targets and sources, mind you, not a lot, but this is just the start of testing. You can see that we have identified some places that are making money. Um, here I've spent $86 and made $104 back. Here I spent $2 and luckily got a conversion for $52. That's nice. And a couple more here, three down here that are profitable. So you can see now when I find these profitable uh, placements and targets, what I want to do now, these are the actual website IDs that uh, my ads are showing on. I want to make sure that I up the bid on these so I get more delivery because I know they actually have customers that are interested in this offer. And the more conversions means the higher the bid I'm going to start setting here, okay? So some of these bids were given to me from my ad rep who recommended, you know, here's some, some bids you should try on a couple of these placements here. But these ones, you know, you can find yourself just by doing your testing and looking at your data. Now, you're going to need a decent budget because when you're running these types of ads, you, you have to buy the data first. And I've explained that in many of my other videos. Check them out um, on the channel. But you can see that it's not just going to be a setup of this campaign and it's going to be profitable on day one. You, there are lots of things you need to look at. But once you find those things, then you can go back into your campaign settings and change and, and, and duplicate your campaigns to more uh, specific targets like I have done in this case here. Another thing you're going to want to do again later is look at your regions and cities that are converting, which ones are converting most. Focus on those. It's very different for every single offer you're going to run. So as a recap, if you are a performance marketer or an affiliate that wants to try new traffic sources, I think Zero Park is definitely a place to try. They do have decent volume and no problem spending my budget uh, on decent traffic. It does convert. I would use the steps I explained in this video. First, do some research on a tool like Anstrex. See what other people are running. 
then set up your campaign, but first talk to an ad rep at Zero Park. Ask them specifically what will work for your specific offer and get assistance before you just go in and start firing money away at your ads. And be sure to integrate with volume if you can, because that integration really keeps the data uh, more accurate. I, I liked that feature combining volume and Zero Park so I could see everything um, back and forth. So again, one last tip, make sure if you're gonna be testing this McAfee offer, you also test other countries because everybody is hitting the US. If you want to get a, an edge on other affiliates, make sure you try those other countries as well because there's a lot of volume there that people just aren't hitting as hard as the US. Hopefully that video did help you. If it did, please post your comments down below. If you have any questions or comments, also don't forget to ask down below. Check out the description for more resources available that I spoke about in this video and we'll see you in the next video.